How different is this uh, Utah offense under Dave Christensen? Uh, it, it, it is what it, it, what it was. You know, they, they're committed to running the ball. Uh, they got a physical offensive line. They got some really good running backs. But at the same time, they got a quarterback that, uh, man, when he gets hot, he gets hot. And he's got some, some really good receivers to throw to. So, shoot. For, for a defense as, as hungry as we are right now and, and as eager as these guys are to, to prove to the world kind of who they are and, and who they want to become, it's, it's a great challenge for us. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's the perfect team for us. It really is. How much has Ish raised his game defensively since last year, year before that? He just continues to get better. He's one of those, like, coach's son types, you know, just savvy, just understands the game at a high level. Um, you know, and, and, and that's not by accident. The guy works his absolute butt off, man. He's the guy. If you see me, I'm always behind the, the DBs, right? He's that guy I hear him just, <sighs> like he's working that hard and he's communicating and he's running to the ball and he's trying to become really the leader of this defense, you know, from the back end and, and he's doing a great job of that. It's just, it's fun to watch him work every day. It really is. What happens on Saturdays just become, it's just a byproduct of what, what he's done out here in, in practice. I know he said before that he's kind of motivated by anger and people doubting him that sort of thing have you seen him be a, maybe a little bit more controlled about that i know he had he you know he's a physical guy he's right. gonna mess with guys I think he's, just, sort of thing. he's just gaining maturity as all these these youngsters do you know at the end of the day it's 18 19 year old kids you know that are just learning their way and finding um, who they are as football players and probably more importantly as men and and, uh, and he's definitely finding his own little niche which is it's uh he's been just invaluable to us on defense what's your impression of uh, attack it's good. I mean, he plays his butt off. I mean, he, he, he's got great physical skill. It's just a matter of getting him up to speed with our with our scheme. And, and once we do, it's going to be, uh, you know, he's that guy that can give us that, that added element as far as pass rush is concerned. You know, we got to get, get our guys going a little bit. You know, we, we ran out of gas a little bit last week. You know, you know, it's like we sit down and, and, and I love our offense. They're explosive. Noel over here. You know, he's he's dialing up 80-yard plays. You know, that, that was, that's just in the back pocket now. <laughs> I know. And so, our, you know, our pass rush was over there. They, they take two seconds break, and then boom, and then they're up again, you know. So we ended up losing a little bit of our edge as far as the pass rush is concerned. But we're going to get that back, and, and all of our pass rushers are, are eager to do that. How much do you take into account fatigue when they're playing 100 so plays uh, when you're assessing how the defense did? Right. Um, I mean, you take into consideration for sure, you know, but at the same time, we got to be better at uh, maybe getting a better rotation, you know, whatever it is. There's a lot of different ways we can do this, you know, changing the uh, the way we rush them a little bit, uh, applying a little, a little bit more pressure. It's one of those things, though, it's hand in hand. You, you go into a game and you, you start accumulating plays. It's like the pass rush starts to slow down and then the DBs start to have to play off because it's like, man, I don't want to get beat, beat deep. So you end up, you know, end up giving up some stuff. But uh it's great to, to be around these guys on a daily basis and see them work and, and how committed they are to be great. And, and uh, you know, they'll respond. Some of the told me that playing the up-tempo style, I think it's a team that's a little slower paced like Utah, they almost got antsy, which kind of threw them off their game a little bit. Do you prepare a little bit differently in a week like this for a team like Utah that doesn't play quite the same tempo as Arizona right. State? We just, our service stuff is slowed down a bit, you know? We still got tempo to it, but um, it slows down a bit, which uh, um, it is, it's different. You know, because you're so accustomed to, we go all through training camp and we see our offense and they're just, they're always on the ball. They're always rolling. It's, it's just super, super fast. So it's almost like, what's going on? <laughs> Why isn't the ball snapped? You know, and that does. It's, it, it, it's a different mindset and it's a, it's a different approach. But uh, I think our guys are gaining the maturity now to, to understand that. I think that we'll, uh, yeah, that, they're excited about this week. Yeah, they're excited about this week. When you guys made the decision to move Ish to kick returner last yeah. year, late, could you notice right away, like, oh my gosh, we kind of tripped into something right. special with this guy? We, we knew he was always in the special at it. It's one of those things where it's like, he's our starting corner, he's our starting safety, he's our starting nickel, you know? What more can you ask from him? And all of a sudden you put him back there and, uh, you know, there's always the, the thought in the back of your mind, knock on wood, right, that, that something bad would happen, we'd lose a valuable guy in defense. But he is just so dynamic. You just, you yeah, know, not you, you can't not have him back there. You can't. I mean, he is super special. How successful? I, I know Miles hasn't necessarily had a ton of success running the ball compared to last year, but it seems like that play action that you guys have put in out of that package has done really well. Well, I, I guess it would be how you define success. Yeah. When we handed to him, it's been first downs, like um, twice on fourth down. 
and then the, the big panda in there. He made a couple. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, obviously, there's not the. I mean, they, everybody's prepared for it now. That's so we, yeah. So we got to do. Uh, you know, we got to do a little bit better job. Maybe change a few things up in there. But no, it's nice. It's a fun group to throw in there with him and Eddie and and Casey and um, you know, that's still some big boys coming at you. How much does that play action kind of surprise defenses? Have you noticed? Uh, there being the one down the goal line. Yeah, you guys uh, ran that a few times, I think, right? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Brett made a heck of a play on that one. You know, he stepped back and made a nice throw to Nate. Um, you know, everybody, they all get excited when 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 Kenny Clark is getting to run a basic <laughs> route, you know. Who cares if we scored, man? It was fun. He was running <laughs> free, too. He was wide open. <laughs> I mean, all, the, all the kids were pissed that, he, that Brett didn't throw it to him. <laughs> uh, Nate was saying that he, you know, takes more pride in his blocking even than, than his catches. What have you seen from him? I've seen, I've seen Nate come light years from where he was. You know, he's 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 such a uh, first of all, he's such a great kid and a hard worker. But he's really taken a, a like just exactly what he said. He's taken a lot of pride in in not being you know ten catches and all all the numbers about as, as far as being a blocker for us. He's really done a great job. Gets better every week. And so like every week is a little more. He's in the package a little bit more. You know, and plus you know. When we throw it to him, he seems to get in the end zone, so that's a nice little addition to that. On the first huddle or a uh, hurdle there in the first uh, first quarter, did you hold your breath a little bit? I, I closed my eyes. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, what, what do you, but you know that was that was that was part of the thing with it. You know, we weren't going to put him out there unless unless he felt and we felt that he was 100. percent And that's Brett. That's how Brett plays. You know, we wouldn't want him out there if he wasn't playing that way. Talk to him about toning any of that stuff down, or did you just want him to do his thing? Actually, I told him, Brett, I'm just going to call a few plays in the street ball. Go out and have some fun and throw it around and, and you know, and ha enjoy it. You know, enjoy it, enjoy the game. That's that's why you put all the hard work in for it. So, yeah, that was never a thing that that, that was, you know, we, we talk about him even when he didn't have, you know, the little injury about, you know, protecting yourself and, you know, he wants to cut back everything. You know, he has the hash numbers out of bounds rule. You know, when you get the ball, run, run away from all the bad guys, not to all the bad guys. Um, so now that's that's something that he's told every week. So, but we don't we don't adjust our thinking. Watching Kenny Lacey on film, do you feel a little bit better about your depth, maybe knowing he did. Yeah, he did. A, came in and really did a nice job. I was proud of Kenny. You know, it was kind of cool. Both he and Brett and uh, Paul are, are all Phoenix kids. And it was kind of fun for those guys. It was good to see them go out and have some successes. Is this a good test for the offensive line, given how much they, yeah, how aggressive this defense is? It's a great test for our, our offense. You know, I mean, it's a good defense we're getting ready to play. And like I was just talking with Chris, I mean, they're well coached. They they have the, the what the defense calls that R H factor, that run and hit factor. I mean, they play hard with a lot of energy. Um, you know, they bring you a lot of different looks. And and by no means, you know, and. and I mean, it's a big challenge for us. You know, we got to be, you know, like I told the kids, I says, you know, this, we can't win today's game on yesterday's home run. I mean, that's history. That, any of the plays that were made in the past have nothing with the ones coming up. So we've got to really be locked in and do a good job against these guys. Do, do home runs ever win a football game? Come on, I thought that was a really good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, Mike Sosha. <laughs> do you prepare them? The or? Royals made it to the playoffs. Come on. Who? The Royals. <laughs> Do you prepare the line a little bit more for blitzing, especially knowing how much Utah blitzes and how good well, they are? So, you know, well, I mean, it's every week, right? You game plan, so you look at what, the, what, who you're playing, what they do on film, and then you obviously you work against what they do. So if it's a heavy, heavy pressure team, then it's obviously more work against pressure that week. If there's not a lot of pressure, then there's less work against pressure. So you pretty much, you know, block and work against what you see on film. And these guys, historically, since I've played them. And they've always played there. I mean, they're, they're good defense. They, they play a lot of people tough. Are you hoping to expand Alex Van Dyke's role at all on that just? Yeah, well, yeah, I will. You know, I think he's still, you know, in the process of learning, you know, of learning, you know, he knows how to play the game, but there's more what to do and where to line up and what to adjust to and all those things. But yeah, we'd like to, you know, we're just, he's kind of a work in progress and hopefully he gets a few more snaps this week. What was it specifically that the offensive line did better this past week than they had in maybe the weeks before that? Um, they blocked guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, I mean, they've, they, you know, I think, you know, we keep forgetting that, that, you know, even through camp and going in the first couple of weeks, you know, every every day it was a different guy at guard or a different guy at center and, and those type of things. And I think finally we were, these guys just start playing next to each other long enough where they're, they're you know, starting to gel a little bit and starting to, you know, get used to, I, I always know this guy's next to me and I, you know, it's kind of like your girlfriend, you date her long enough, you kind of get to know her her good habits and her bad habits, right? And so, uh, you know, I think it's just them playing together.